Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of my BOA series. Today is all about Shine We Are. Now this was a cool album. Um, as usual, she killed it with the vocals. Um, the energy on this is what I really appreciate because I've come to expect great vocals anyway. Um, because she has served nothing but greatness in terms of vocals ever since I started this whole journey. Um, and now it's like a given for me. I know I'm going to get great vocals in an album so i look forward to all the other elements like the production the melodies and everything and this one shines through with its energy like every single song the energy that she gives off is so insane and so catchy i really love it you know there's not a lot of songs on here actually only three and you know this is one of those, because there's not a lot of songs, I am leaning towards more song, um, towards one song more than the others. And it's like there's this one song and then the rest, you know, there's not a lot of options, but the ones that are there are really nice. However, there's this one song that's just the star, the moon and everything. And that's my favorite, Shine We Are.
That was my favorite song out of this entire album. This one is very nostalgic. You know, um, the song is reminding me of all the songs that came out around this era, um, this particular time period. And I love it so much. I love the fact that Boa's Japanese discography is as strong, if not stronger, than her Korean one. Um, something that I've talked about about on the channel is I love when an artist when they decide to give us um, an English version of an album and an English album or a Japanese album they go out of their way to give us something new I have nothing against getting Japanese versions or English versions of songs that we already know but the ratio should be more um, leaning more towards more songs than older ones and otherwise it's just the same albums the same vibe all over again what i love about um boa's japanese discography is she actually puts out like new workers and everything yes there are instances where we got japanese versions of songs that she released from previous album but for the most part those are original songs created for the sole purposes of the specific album and that makes my enjoyment a ten, 10 times better i look forward to what else is in store when it comes to boana music and i've not even made a dent into her discography it is so large but i'm having fun just um diving into it and i'm trying to make it so that at least every week i check out a boa album so that i can catch up quickly let me know in the comments how you felt about this album which song ended up your favorite if you want more check out her dedicated playlist on the channel